welcome, welcome everyone. This is Miss Lainer and I'm coming in to uh, make a little video for you guys tonight. And I and I thank you all for for being able to watch the video. And this is the uh, only the second one that I made this month. I'm thinking maybe the third one. But anyway, I um, I appreciate everyone. This, uh, I appreciate. All right. I appreciate all of my uh, subscribers, all the new ones, and all of my supporters, and all of the new memberships, uh, the ones that's members that has been in. And I just thank you all so much. Y'all appreciate you so much. And I always say at the beginning that how much I love you and how much I appreciate you. So now we'll be doing, okay, the eyes of the Lord are all over the righteous, and his ears are open until their prayers. First Peter 3 and 12. I will dwell in the midst of thee, said the Lord. Zechariah 2 and 10. Thank you so much. Now today I'm getting ready to do my favorite thing that I drink every day. And that is the Dr. Pepper. But I'm not fixing to drink the Dr. Pepper. I'm getting ready to make a Dr. Pepper cake. Okay, and this cake only takes about four ingredients. So I will start. I have here is my okay. This I'm using a package of yellow cake mix, so I wanted to make you sure. All I do is just pour this in to my bowl. Okay. And then I have here is of an instant vanilla pudding. I have like it's a well four ounces really. You can use any kind you want, but this is what I have on hand. Okay, now I'm pouring the four ounces of vanilla instant vanilla pudding into the cake mix. Yeah, if y'all hear some, that's the girls. They playing. So now my next thing I have is is uh, I have four eggs. Let me stand, you guys. I have to stand. Give me a while. I beat them a little bit. Okay, I have four eggs. I don't have to really beat them out too much, but the eggs are so small. I have to make sure that uh, all these eggs are very small. For some reason, they're supposed to be large, but they're they really don't come out much. Okay, so I'm going to be pouring the four eggs into the bowl. Let me kind of mix this together first, and I'm going to pour the four eggs in. It doesn't take, it's not very hard to do. And I have to, I have uh, three, four cups of oil. So, this would be, it's any kind of vegetable oil that you have, it's fine. And it, it, it calls for 10 ounces of Dr. Pepper. So you take uh, 10 ounces and you leave the two ounces in out. But if you want to use a little bit more, you can. But now I'm gonna use the 10 ounces because I'll use the other for the, my uh, glaze on top. So I'm going to store it just a little lightly. And I'll be pouring the 10 ounces as I go.
deve ter esse lado, deve ter esse lado. have to make sure that everything at the bottom of the bowl is all mixed in. So I cut it out just for a minute to go around the edges of the bowl. Okay, so now I have three, four cups of uh, walnuts. Just and I, uh, They're supposed to be chopped. <laughs> So, yeah, I guess it's five minutes. Yeah, she put three, four cups of walnuts in here. I'm sorry the camera wasn't on. And she said you had to beat the cake for five minutes. Yeah, if, now, tell me if they, if they, uh, if they, it depends on how, 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 how much oil you're using and what kind. If you're using butter, but you're supposed to not use, not, not they, they don't say butter, but sometimes people use granola oil, another type of oil. So, if your oil is kind of heavy or light, that depends on how long you beat it. But, Beat it until it gets really soft. I mean, really not really soft, but uh, really uh, just uh, I, so it won't be lumpy. That's what I was going to, trying to say. And make sure that all is out the bottom of your bowl, even after you put your nuts in. So now I'll be spraying it. I think everything should be out. Now here, whole cake it takes about ten or fifteen minutes to to do it. So I'm using the uh, the baking spray. I did have the other one. I don't. Okay, so I can put this in. Okay. So this is it. It's ready for the oven now. And it will go in at 350 for a one hour. But now, I mean, it depends on, it say one hour. It may be longer. Uh, what you have to know is it depends on what type of stove and, you know, it because it may take a little bit longer. So I always take a toothpick up a pick of whatever you use for checking your, your cakes with, please check it because even though mine may say it may do a hunt may do uh, one hour, yours may take an hour and a an hour and fifteen minutes or more. It just depends. So I'm pouring this into the bowl. Now I'll be putting it in the oven just shortly. Okay, y'all. She'll be back once she, it comes out of the oven. Okay. Thank you. All right. I'm getting ready to make a little uh, glaze topping. And I'm using one cup of, of uh, powdered sugar. And I'm using a, uh, it's supposed to be about an ounce or so of uh, Dr. Pepper. I may have to use a little bit more. I don't know yet. It's just. I have one fourth teaspoon of a vanilla extract. Now you can use more, but if you use more vanilla extract, it's going to take the Dr. Pepper flavor away. So I'm only going to use one fourth instead of one teaspoon.
this is not an icing. It's just a little glaze that would be going across it. It'll be going on there, so. I've got a cup full, and that's about another, uh, another tablespoon full. See if it's going to be any difference. I don't know. Maybe just a little bit more. When it comes to the glaze, it, you just kind of use your own determination. Depends on how much, how thick you want it, or how light you would like to have it. Take over here. Uh, it should be cool enough for me to put it on this plate. Okay. I'm gonna put my spoon in there. I'm gonna put the glaze on there. This is the final touch of the Dr. Pepper cake before I put the glaze on. It was in the oven for about uh, one hour, about one hour and five minutes exactly. And so now I'm getting ready to make the glaze up. Now you can also do this with a, this I used the, uh, uh, the, uh, Yellow, yellow cake mix, but you can also use chocolate if you like, or whatever kind of chocolate or white, whichever one that you could, you know, that you would like. So I'm going to put the glaze on. It's supposed to be a little cool, but I think it'll be okay. I just want you to kind of see what I'm doing. I'm not frosting it. I'm just glazing it a little bit down the side. If you want to have your frosting, you can do it also. And it's still kind of warm, so it just kind of got itself off. Okay, I'm done with it now. It's very easy to do, and it doesn't take very long for you to get it done. So I'm going to be cutting into it. It's hot, I'm hoping. I would be able to get it hot. It's just going to be pretty hot, though. Okay, I'm going to cut another piece so you can all can see it very good, so. It is so hot. Oh, I guess I shouldn't have tried it back there. Okay. All right. 
Now you can see the cutting right in front there of the cake. Yeah, it's so moist. Oh my goodness. It's very moist. Very good. So I'll take just a little taste of it. Okay. It's very good and it doesn't take very long to prepare it. And like I said, you can make it chocolate if you don't, whatever. Uh, but I did use the yellow cake mix. Yeah, it's real moist. And it doesn't matter what kind. Mm. Whatever your preference is. Very good. It's delicious. It almost tastes like a sake to me cake. And you can also uh, use pecans instead of walnuts. Whatever your preference is. But I didn't have pecans. I was going to use pecans, but I didn't get to the store. So I had to use the walnuts. Thank you. So I hope you all will try this. This is something. It still would probably be good for Easter also. If you would like so. And like I said, you might decide you want to make it. You know, maybe a white cake mix and whatever. Yeah, it's very good. It almost tastes like a sack of timmy cake without the cinnamon in it. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> it's so more. It really is good. It is off the chain. Too. One more time. So I thank you all so much uh, uh, for, for watching this video. And I hope you will uh, will make it. Because it was very, it's very, very good. And it only takes four items to make it. Uh, just the soda, the, the flavor, four eggs, and uh, a box of cake mix, and a, a box of... Yeah, uh, Vanilla or whatever kind of instant, instant pudding, whatever kind you're making. Even if you're making it in chocolate, it's very good. So I thank you and I hope you all will try this. And um, thank you to all of my subscribers, all the new ones, all the old ones, and all of my uh, supporters that has been supporting me for the last year and a half or so. And thank you to all the channel members. We appreciate you. And I thank you all so much. And I hope to see you on a live session sometime during the weekend. So be blessed. Have a blessed day and a blessed night and the rest of the weekend. God bless all of you. From Miss Lena's Kitchen, with all my love, this is my Dr. Pepper cake. The favorite of my drinks is my Dr. Pepper. So the cake will probably be also. So thank you. Goodbye. Good night. God bless. Yeah, please press the like button if if you made it this far into the video. Please, please. It helped Miss Lena out a lot. Thank you.